Dear me. Why are they all... dead? I don't know. Food poisoning? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. It seems like a bit of a... probably more happy perception of what happened to them than what probably actually happened. Alright, so now that she's with me, I should be able to go back to the gate that requires two people and open it. I could also try to kill... the... kill the older, fat version of Sophie with my gun. But let's go to the studio first. Out in the rain again. If I get, if I get pneumonia, it will be your fault, Joe Davis. Stop moaning. It's just a bit of rain. Yeah? Well, it so happens that I'm made of sugar. What? Okay. Don't melt. Do I talk to her to tell her to do it? Oh, here we go. Agnes, can you see that lever on the wall? Of course I can see it. I'm not blind. Could you pull the lever when I give you a shout? Sure. It's the same dialogue as with the, the floating Scandinavian rock god. Hey, Agnes! Pull the lever now! What? I can't hear you! Pull the lever now! You want me to... to kill the cow? No cows here, sorry! I didn't say cow! I said lever! Pull the lever! Just pull the fucking thing! Ah, that! Alright! Come on, Joe. Stop fooling around and come over here. I got the gate open. The ultimate contentment. Must be one of the movies. Wait, she's following me, right? Is she? Come with me. Oh, there we go. She wasn't. This guy on the poster doesn't look so happy. The ultimate contentment. For him, it is definitely not. A public telephone. I bet it doesn't work. Let's find out. It's dead. No surprise here. Lots and lots of papers. Look like somebody ransacked this place. What's that green thing on them? I bet it's only there to cover their private bits. <laughs> Probably. What the hell? Why did the papers just move? Weird, I can't seem to pick them up. Examine them or pick them up. Huh. Messy. Looks like it's been abandoned in a rush. Mannequin head. Alright, so I'm picking up pieces of a mannequin. That's... Weird. A mannequin's head, or rather, a skull. Right, so I've got a mannequin head and a mannequin leg. A lift. Nothing more, nothing less. It's out of order. 
Lots of old notices are posted here. To all the actors currently staying on the third floor, please do not leave your hair straighteners on in your rooms. The heat they produce keeps setting the fire alarm off. And this has caused quite a stir on numerous occasions. It looks more like a door to a vault than a movie set. I heard this is where they made this film about a man who went down the church's catacombs to fight skeletons with broom. The plot sounds simple, but it was a hell of a movie. Locked. Well, fuck. Guess I need to wait for a key. Can't use any of this stuff, right? I suppose we can go back to the wax museum, which should be open now. I don't need to go there anymore. Never mind. I guess let's try to kill the... the Sophies. By the way... I wonder if she would like a cigarette. Nope. Well, I mean, she probably would, but... Apparently I need it for something else. Alright. Where's the big one? Third floor? Whoa. What the hell? What just happened? Something just happened. But I don't know what. Let's go talk to the doctor. Ah, you're a good boy. Alright, what do you want me to do? Oh yes, electricity. Wait a minute, what about this? Hold on. What about this thing? Nothing happened. Hmm. Let's go down to that hole. See what the hell's going on in there. Whoa. I want it back. It wants its brain back, I guess. Do you want the pig's brain now? You want a brain? I wonder if you'll notice any difference. <laughs> Surely you won't notice a difference. No. <laughs> I'm seriously wondering though, what the fuck is that gonna do? What have I done? And what the hell does that do? I still don't know what that does. Can I, like, put the flap back on? Do I need to stitch him up? With what?
Now does the lever in the doctor's office do something? I really don't know what that was about. Huh. Alright. So... Let's go ahead. Oh, wrong place. No, oh, actually, this wasn't the room I was thinking of, but yeah, I should certainly be able to kill her. Alright, pistol or, sh pistol or shotgun? Let's go with the pistol. I could kill her so easily now. Just shoot once, right between the eyes. But I've only got one bullet. I should save it. I might need it later. Besides, she wants, and she deserves, a death much more painful than this. If that's her last wish, I might as well honor it. Oh, seriously? You want to give her a nasty death? Alright. What about the shotgun? Nope. Poison? I can't use the rat poison with the Sophie. How would I kill her? Beat her with a mannequin leg? No. Damn it, the Sophie. Why won't you the die? Alright, let's try the big one with the knife. Oh. Hello again, Mr. Davis. I never thought you'd get this, uh, you'd, you'd get so far. So we, meet, so we meet again, but this time you'll give me some answers. But I've already told you everything you need to know. And still, you're blaming me for what happened. You should have warned us. You should have told us to leave. Mr. Davis, I'm running a business here. I can't just tell my guests to leave, can I? That would be so utterly rude. Are you responsible for this then? No. It's the hotel. It's playing with your head. It wants you to believe that this is real. It wants you to die and stay here forever. I should kill you right here and now for all you've done to us. Then do it, Mr. Davis. No. That won't change a thing. I might as well let you live. <laughs> I never expected to hear that from the mouth of such a ruthless killer. And we both know you've spilled some blood today. You're such a naughty little boy. Very, very naughty. And there will be even more blood. How do you know? This isn't real, all I kill is ghosts. Oh, if you say so. But doesn't it feel like we're all ghosts anyway? Like I've always only... Like we've always been only dead souls that seek redemption? Lost and frightened. Lonely and confused. I used to be very lonely. A long time ago. But nobody came. I waited. And waited. And the world as I remembered it went missing. The loneliness and confusion made everything go black and white and gray. And red, too. I could see red blood pumping in my veins every time I looked at my arm. I could see the ghosts hidden in the walls. They spoke to me. They said, We're waiting for you. In our cold arms you will be happy again. And what happened? I climbed on a stool, put a rope around my neck, and jumped. 
It was beautiful. No need to say it happened in this very room? Yes. It's always been my favorite. I really need to know about the backup generator. The doctor said you would know. The doctor. He's been playing you all along. He needs you to do some chores for him, run here and there. But what he really needs you for is a fresh brain for his final project. He never told you that, did he? <laughs> Clever old rat. And to think you actually believed him. What? This can't be. Oh yes, dear Mr. Davis. The doctor is not a good man. He's a cheating old bastard who wants to use you and then kill you. But how do I know if you're not lying to me as well? Well, you can't. But I can tell you one thing. There is no backup generator in this hotel. There's never been one. If you go and tell him about it now, he'll say there's another way to produce extra power for his machine. And this other way will be to use the storm to his advantage. He'll ask you to go up to the roof and stick an iron bar in the machine he placed there a long time ago. Because he always knew. And if he says something else, he won't. But if he does, you can find me. And do to me what you did to poor old Sophie if you wish. How do I get to the roof? I suppose I could show you. I don't know why, but I like you. Let's play a little game. You'll have to follow me. I'll leave some clues for you. Clues? Yes, who knows. Maybe you will get more than you bargained for. I've been alone for a very, very long time, Mr. Davis. I'm going to do you a favor. You're not going to be ungrateful, are you? Just show me the way to the roof. Oh, you're so boring and cold. I'm not surprised your wife wanted to leave you. That's not your business, besides. Never mind, think about it. And tell me when you're ready. She's dead. Well, there's her actual body. Blouse. What the hell? Where'd that come from? Is that from her? It's the blouse she was wearing. I'll just leave it there. She can just, like, leave behind pieces of her clothing as a trail of breadcrumbs to get to the roof. <laughs> she did say she's been alone for a very long time. Maybe. Oh no, I'm out of water. Oh my god, what am I going to do? I'm going to die of dehydration. Should I follow her right now, or should I just go talk to the doctor? Let's go talk to the doctor. Alright, what are you gonna tell me, Doc? Hmm? Hmm? Ah. I've talked to the receptionist. There's no generator here. No backup generator? What the hell are we going to do now? We need more energy! We need it now! Calm down, Thomas. Calm down. There must be some other way. <laughs> so I can call him on it right now, but I don't want to yet. Let's see what he says. Well, have you got any brilliant ideas, Doc? What shall we do now? Give me a second, boy. I'm thinking. How about if we... No, that's stupid. Maybe... But it never work. We need to produce more power. I could then charge the Resurrector's battery. Yes. The lightning! <laughs> it will give us more than enough power if we manage to trap it somehow. But how are we going to do that? Ah, it's like all the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle falling into place at once. See, I've got this old cable running up to the roof. I've forgotten all about it. But now it can prove itself very useful. Take this walkie-talkie. 
Find some iron bar and stick it on the roof, where the cable is going. But let me know before you do it. I have to switch everything on first. And just talk to me on the walkie-talkie first when you're ready. Yes, I knew that tonight was the night. Doc? I think I've seen this on the film before. Well, did it work? Yes, but... What are we waiting for, then? Ah, you're a good boy. Okay. Right, so I'll make another perma save there. So save 16 is before going to the roof, save 17 is before choosing whether to shoot the person as I'm coming out of the grave. I probably should rename them, but it's kind of too late for that. Oops. Oh. Do you mind if I ask you why you're wearing a wedding dress? Not at all. It's very simple. I lost my luggage, you see. It could be in New Zealand now, as far as I know. But I needed a change of clothes last night, and that woman in reception gave me this dress. Wait a minute, what the fuck? But why a wedding dress? She didn't have anything else at the time. I think it's really old, you know. It feels like a dozen brides went through it. Still, I kinda like it. Let's go, we've got no time to lose, Agnes. I'm coming, I'm coming. What the fuck? Why is her story completely different? She told... the floating Scandinavian ghost rock god that... she wears it to show off. You know, to show off the dress, because she sells clothes or something like that. And now she's saying she lost her luggage, and the receptionist person gave it to her. What the hell? She, she lied to at least one of us, maybe both of us. But what does that mean? I mean, what can I do with that information at the moment? It's extremely suspicious, but... Alright, let's see where the receptionist got off to. So she was here, and then she went to the lift. And then... And then... Okay. Oh! She's in the kitchen. It's her boot. Skirt. Okay. So, she's got to be in the freezer. Or, walk-in fridge. I feel like I'm about to see something really horrifying, or about to be killed. Ah, here we go! Netstock. What the? It's a secret passage. <laughs> There's a secret passage inside of the freezer? Well, he did say this looked strange. Stalking? Phone? Is it a phone? I don't know, whatever it is, it's broken. I'll just leave it alone. It's her stalking. She must have come through here. Is she just gonna, like, jump off the roof or something? Where the hell did she go? Can you stay here, Agnes? This is something I must do alone. I've been following you all this time, and now you want to dump me in this room full of bodies? No way! You'll be fine. I promise I'll come back for you. Alright. But so you know, I'm not happy about it. What the fuck is this place? another mannequin arm. A mannequin's limb has been placed here. I should be able to get it out easily. I'm gonna be assembling something. I've got a, a leg, an arm, and a head. Creepy looking chair. A cold dark shaft with a ladder leading down. Do 
I want to go down the shaft? Oh, right, that's where I came from. Well then, I guess I know where I'm going. You took your time, Mr. Davis. Well, you're pretty far away, but you're here now in my secret bedroom, where everything can happen. Why won't you come closer? Are you scared? I'm about to be murdered. Something something horrible is about to happen, like the entire room's going to explode in blood. I, uh, I just want to find the way to the roof. Only that. I thought we had a special connection. No. I really don't care what you thought. Really? Well, I must have been wrong then when I thought you looked at my breasts rather than my face. Because you wouldn't, would you? And you didn't get a little excited when you found my knickers, did you? You didn't examine them, did you? Oh, and I'd hoped you'd hold me in your strong arms. And slowly kiss my dead cold lips. You know I can't. I love my wife. Mr. Davis. She will never know. I thought she was dead anyway. She's not. It's you who's dead. True. But I'm here right now. And where is she? Can't you see that she's controlling you? Clever little girl. The love you gave her. It was never truly returned. You've been fooling yourself for years. And me, well... Let's just say, you won't regret this, my dear. I, you should ask yourself a question. Do you really love that crazy paranoid wife of yours? With her foul mouth that spits out poison? With no respect for you and everything you've gone through? All she gave you was grief and embarrassment. Was she really ill? Or maybe she was just making a fool of you? Don't you dare. Fine. One more thing, though. In the letter, she said she was leaving you. How do you know about the letter? It's right here in my pocket. I just know. And I want to help you. What if she wrote the letter? Who's to say it's actually from my wife? Hmm. I think I'll pass. It's not you. It's that blood-stained bed that puts me off. I understand. Your love to your wife is greater than temptation. I shall respect that. The second door will take you to the roof. And if you go, don't look back. Now it's time for you to decide. So what's it going to be? Passion or loyalty? It's decision time now. Well, I'm going to stick with my wife for now. She is uh, she's pretty crazy, and she did quite possibly say she's going to leave me, assuming she actually wrote the note, but she's dead, and that's a blood-stained bed. So... Yeah... I'm gonna go through the door. She's waiting for an answer. Leave her. I've got to go. Thanks for your help. So you're just going to leave me? You fucking idiot! You turned me down like this? Me? I'm sorry. Go to hell. I think I'm already there. Oh, I made her cry naked, and so damn pretty. Can I talk to her? I'm done with her. It's better if I leave her alone now. Hopefully she doesn't try to, like, stab me in the back or something. Wait, what the... Wait, this is the door that leads me to the roof? 
What? Whoa, she's gone. Oh, this is... Oh, staircase. I didn't even realize those were stairs. I don't even know what the hell that was. Right, so if the doctor's gonna steal my brain, then what do I do to avoid that? I know it's coming, but... What do I do? I mean, how does he plan on doing it? Is he just gonna shock me to death? Or maybe I'm gonna actually get this working, and then... He's gonna kill me when I come back? I mean, I have two guns, so I should be able to shoot him. Hopefully. It's some kind of device with a thick cable going down into one of the windows. There's a small hole in it. Right, so I guess I should use it or radio him first. There aren't any switches or buttons on it. Alright, I guess there's nothing else I can do but radio him. Can't use a walkie-talkie with the strange. Okay, well, where? How do I use it? Can I use it on myself? What do I? What am I doing here? Oh yeah, I need to attach a bar. That's right. Uh. Do I have a metal bar of any sort? I don't believe I do. I can stick an arm in it. No. Right. So, I'm missing stuff. Come with me. Where do I find a bar? I have no idea. I guess I'll go back to my plan of trying to kill one of the Sophies. Where's the receptionist? Is back in her room. Excuse me. No response. Well, no surprise there. Okay, was it the fourth floor? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's shoot her. Don't! This is not the death she deserves. We want to see her guts come out of this big fat ugly tummy in a fountain of blood. Saw her in half, and maybe then we will find peace at last. Fine, let's have it your way. Oh my god, these things are psychos, what the fuck? Saw her in a half. I don't have anything I could do that. Okay. So, what do I do? I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing one key component. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, what am I missing? There's so many different places I can go, but what do I need to do? I need a bar. I don't know where to get a bar from. There's pipes in the basement, but I'd have no way to get them down. Or cut them or anything. I don't have a, a hacksaw. Go talk to the doctor again? I don't think that's going to do anything. I can try. <laughs> Can't even ask him what I'm supposed to do. Can I pick up the book now? Nope. It's a very important look. Fine, fine. Alright, well there's a mannequin torso. I guess I could start putting body parts on it, but it seems like he doesn't want me to. Yeah, leave that thing alone. Hmm. Locked. And locked. It's not locked. I think there's something wrong with it. It wouldn't open from inside, either. Not that there's anything important there. Actually, do you think that would end my dream if I returned to where it started? No idea. Maybe? Don't worry about it too much. I'm not really that fussed. It was just a thought. Wait, what? Is it like some sort of a secret? It would... end it if it returned to where you... started? There's something wrong with it. What could I do to possibly fix it? Shoot it open? Hit it with a fish? I'm thinking there's so many things I can do here that I'm probably just going to be stuck running around if I don't just get the next hint, I think I should just... I'm just going to look at the walkthrough and just get the hint for what I need to do next. Just a little hint. Just a little one. Okay. Okay, so the ghost wants the missing brain back. Yep, I already saw that. Need to take the pig's brain and put it in there. Already, already done. Don't forget to pull the lever again before you return to the third floor. Alright, already done. I pulled the lever in the basement. The cellar. Wait. Go to the room where she died and turn the gas on. Go to the room where she died and turn the gas on? What? Since when could you turn the gas on in the room where she died? I don't remember seeing that. There was an oven, but... Okay, let's go back. Is it three? Yeah. Turn the gas on. Oh. I couldn't possibly move it. No, turn it. Gas valves, gas oven. Oh my god, really? The gas is slowly filling the room. Okay. Oh, is that just going to kill her? Do I just leave it? Or... Or what? I mean, it's not a sealed room, so it probably wouldn't kill her, right? So... Anyway, isn't that not even a painful death? I'm pretty sure that's painless. At least I thought so. Do I need to light it on fire? Well, this would just kill me, wouldn't it? 
Can't use the cigarette with the Sophie. Ah, the Sophie. You caused me so many problems. Okay. Let me take another peek at the walkthrough. Visit the room where she was rejected. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I need a beer. Left of the door, grab a can of beer from the fridge on the left and leave. Wait a minute. Third floor's main corridor. I need to... I, I need to use the necklace here? What? So there's a mirror where I can't use the necklace, and then there's a mirror where I can? I don't understand. Okay, I've got the necklace, but what should I do with it to make it work? Maybe I'll just try to touch the mirror. Bingo! Room where she was eating. Ugh. This room, it's like being inside a mirror. Only she broke every single mirror here. Isn't that typical for people who hate the way they look? That would make some sort of sense. There's another arm. Books about self-acceptance and fighting anorexia. I don't think Sophie has a problem with the latter, actually. But in her wicked mind, she probably thought she did. Yeah, I mean, she looked fine to me. Her, her younger self, she didn't look too skinny. She looked normal, average. In terms of her, in terms of her weight. It's packed with chocolate bar wraps and takeaway boxes. I'm not going to go through her rubbish. It smells like if someone was sick in there. Ugh. It's full of beer cans. Alright, now I've got a beer. Somewhere. Somewhere. Amongst the body parts. There it is. Cold can of beer. This card is packed with cheap supermarket food products. They're out of date now. No use. Dirty plates. Ugh. It's our binging room. Some of the remains of the endless feast. It seems to constantly play Jeremy Kyle show. Is that even a real show? I don't even know what the hell it is. Red pillow. It's old and full of holes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This sofa. Is this the same sofa that I saw in the hallway of the apartment building in the cat lady? The one that had like a tear in it that you... Or it had like stitches in it and you tore the stitches open and you found... Some sort of extract inside of it that agitated the cats. Is this that couch? Kind of seems like it is. Hmm. It shut and won't open. Alright. Well... Well, off camera at one point when I was... I don't remember what I was doing. I think it's when I was searching for the solution to a puzzle. Um, I didn't show this, but one of the things I did when I was talking to a bunch of random people is... I was talking to Mr. Harris and he finally told me that he wanted me to get him some beer. So, the beer is definitely meant for him. Here you go, you douchebag. There you go, I found a can of beer. Cheers, mate. Enjoy. Oh boy. It sure makes you want to piss. I'm just gonna pop over, uh, pop over to the loo across the corridor. Be back in a minute. Oh, the loo that has gas inside of it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> well. That didn't work out too well for you, did it? did it, Mr. Harris? I didn't kill you. It was just an accident. Anyway, you were just a waste of space. That's right. 
Rot in hell. Rot in hell, you slimy bastard. You still warm. Oh, not again. I think I'll pass out if I don't lie on the bed. I just need to close my eyes for a few minutes. Of course you do. Have a nice lie down, Joe. Don't worry about me. It doesn't matter that I'll be sitting there doing nothing. You finished. Fine. Have a nap. I will just shut up. I feel so tired. I really just need to lie down just for a few minutes. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong door. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Everything's fine, everything's fine, Joe. Well, no horrible dreams? What an awful dream, but the headache's gone. And somehow I feel stronger. Oh, I didn't even see a dream. Oh, what the? Oh, the fuck? Those are the two Sophies that I've killed, aren't they? There's nothing important at the Sophie. <laughs> what? I can't do anything with the Sophie. <laughs> They're taunting me. There's no way I'm getting any closer to them. Okay. Uh, Ivy! You're alive! I'm so sorry. I should have never left you. None of this would ever happen. Ives? Oh. Oh, that was the dream? It was only a dream. I dreamt of being awake. I think I'm seriously losing it. Pull yourself together, Joe. It's okay now. It's okay. Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No one answers. Why is that locked now? Who locked that door? Strange. Bloody hell, what a mess. The explosion's blown a hole in the wall. And I'm pretty sure it killed off whoever was here. Ugh, that's absolutely disgusting. I think I'm gonna be sick. I can't stand the sight of blood. I'll just cover my eyes for a while, if that's okay with you. Fine. But if you trip over those legs, don't come crying to me. Joe. You're not the most sensitive of men. <laughs> so it's true when they say smoking kills. <laughs> good one, Joe. Soon, Sophie. Soon. I will be in your realm. Mr. Harris's bottom half. The lovers are together at last. I found a key in his pocket. Oh, what's it to? 202. Hmm. The explosions revealed that there's a hidden room behind this wall. Oh. And they obviously fell out of the wall. When they obviously fell out of the wall when bathroom exploded. Boom, boom. A brick would probably make a good weapon. But I'm already carrying a shotgun. Fair enough. Well, that's two arms, uh, two legs, and a head, which I think is all I need if I'm putting it on that torso. But he still won't let me touch it. Old Man Waiting For. Strange name for a painting. So what's this old man waiting for? Death, most likely. Moving the painting won't explain what the man is waiting for. Smoothie maker? Why would Sophie own one of those? Oh, it's for the recipe. 
some chairs piled up. If this was a mystery novel, there would be a dead body rolled up inside. <laughs> Isn't much I could do with that. Yeah, unless it's a magic carpet, of course. Then we could fly out of here and never think of this awful place again. Yes. Still, I think it's just an ordinary carpet. Joe, you're as funny as a bag of potatoes. Hey, I'll have you know, potatoes are pretty damn funny. Funnily enough, it's empty. How disappointing. Alright, can I... Do I have the stuff to make the shake? Well, fish probably is one of the ingredients. Okay. There we go. Eh, eh, there we go. No. Well, wait a minute, it said bowl, didn't it? Yeah, in a bowl. But it says smoothie. Yeah, it says bowl, but it says smoothie too. And this is a smoothie maker, so it's rather suggestive. Alright, what about the head? It... Oil? Oh! Oh god, I'm actually gonna blend it, aren't I? Ugh. Will it blend? Normally, this is where you put your fruit or vegetables. <laughs> Normally. Oh my god, I'm actually putting the head in there. And the fish, probably? Nope. Not the fish. The oil? No. Do I blend it first? Oh. What the fuck's up with the music? <laughs> was that, was that the, the, uh, the blending of the head theme? And then he just abruptly stops? What the hell was that? That was weird. Okay, I need more, right? I think he just said, in goes the alcohol. Which... I don't have. Now a drop of oil. Or perhaps the whole can. Did I actually put it in? I guess I did. Can I really do it? Well, let's hope she's still hungry. God, I'm gonna poison her to death. Okay, uh, what else does it need? So that's the bone. Uh, it needs alcohol, right? <laughs> it is the blending theme. Yeah! Blend that shit! Fuck yeah. Did I pick it up? Fattening smoothie. But wait, what about the alcohol? Eh, I don't, I don't know. Apparently it's done. Alright, cool. There is actually some alcohol in this room, though. Why is it black? Here we go. Why did that take so long to load? Whoa, where is she? What the hell? Where, where did she go? Alright, so yeah, there, there's alcohol here, the wine. Apparently I don't need it, okay. Is she in the eating room? No, where the f the hell did she go? Yeah, and why does it take so long to go into this room? It's just black for a while. Hello? There's no reaction. Probably should leave her alone. All I get is white noise on the TVs. Well, I do have the key to room 202. 
So let's go try that out. Sophie? There she is. Oh, it's you. Damn, I skipped it. He's not well, but I'm going to make him better. Oh god, is that the top half of Mr. Harris? It is. He'll wake up soon, and he'll be grateful to me forever. Forever! <laughs> I'm so happy. I have to get really fat now, so when he gets up, he falls in love with me all over again. Oh my god. There, there's no point in trying to talk her out of it. I got you a very special drink. You'll like it. Is it my special fattening smoothie? Well, yes, as a matter of fact it is. Oh, how sweet of you. How did you know? Will you believe if I say it was a blind guess? How thoughtful. Give it to me, dear. I'm feeling peckish. Of, of course. So let's see, I blew one up, I poisoned one to death. And now I'm about to poison, well, poison another one to death. This time with food instead of an injection. Hold on, let's take a look around first. It's filthy. The sheets haven't been changed for ages. I'm not going to sleep in this bed. No way. I can't see anything through these shutters. What secret is it hiding? Let's find out. It's empty. I can't help feeling a bit disappointed. It's stuck. I reached inside only to get some dust on my hands. Hmm, can I pry the middle one open? I don't think I have any pryination tools. It's built in the wall. There's probably just a... Probably just a couple of shirts inside. If this room belonged to Mr. Harris, I really don't feel like going through his wardrobe. He's half a man he used to be. <laughs> uh. So here she is. And boy, she looks confused. Okay, let's give her the smoothie. Here you go. It's got a blended up head and some rat poison. Oh, this is sick. Oh, she's drinking it. Ugh. Ah, nice one. I love this... I loved this meaty flavor. Oh. Was it beef I tasted? Yes. It was lovely. Anyway, do I look fatter? Any nice curves showing up? Yes, I think you're gaining pounds as we speak. But, uh... Are you feeling alright? Yeah. No, I don't know. It left a funny aftertaste in my mouth. Do you add oregano? Wait, my stomach. Oh, it really hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I think I'm going to throw up. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What have we done, Joe? Stay out of it. This has nothing to do with you. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a sacrifice that has to be made. You were not real. You were merely a memory, a ghost. You'd be grateful to me if only you could think straight. Oh yeah. She'd be running to you with a bunch of roses and a box of quality street. There's no doubt about that, my psycho friend. I just realized that's a human-shaped hole that's going in it, isn't it? Let's move on, Agnes. There's nothing else for us here. Oh, it's just a skeleton now. I guess if Mr. Harris was alive, he wouldn't take a second look at her now. I just feel a bit sick to my stomach now. 
Is there any way I can avoid doing this? I mean, what else can I do? Ah, it's stuck. Yeah, I don't think I, I, I don't think I have anything to pry it open. Okay. Look, let's go. We go not. To, oh yeah. You still want me to follow you? I promise I'll stop moaning. Yeah, of course. Ah, this pain. Ugh, my head is killing me. What's happening to me? Oh no. I don't know what to do. Maybe you should lie down? Joe? Oh, is he just gonna pass out? Oh shit. Is this the place? I guess. We're very close to it. I can feel it. But where is it? That boy said that when we get to the building site, we have to keep walking and go past it. Until we get to the empty yard with blocks of concrete on the ground. Well, this is the building site, isn't it? Definitely. Let's keep walking, then. That empty yard should be right there. It's not that simple, Robbie. And the boy also said there's a guard near this building. Shit. He was right. There is a guard. Shh, keep it down, Robbie. Hold on. I think he's drunk. Yeah. Are we lucky or what? I can smell the booze from here. Right. We've got to come up with some plan if we want to sneak past him. But if anything bad happens, we must run as quickly as we can. Don't be such a chicken, Joe. Robbie, don't argue with me, okay? I'm your older brother. I'm in charge here. I'll tell Dad if you won't listen to me. And you know you shouldn't be hanging around places like this. Neither should you. He'd just ground both of us if he found out. Look, I'm older. I can do what I like. You're just a snotty little kid. And snotty little kid's place is on children's playgrounds, not abandoned building sites. Understood? Yes, Joe. That's better. Now let's try to sneak past him. And soon we'll both be famous. If it's there, you mean? Of course it's there. It's there and we'll find it. What the hell am I going to find? I always wanted to have one of these. Are you Gordon Freeman or something? No, they are useful tools, you know. That's exactly what Dr. Freeman would say. Whatever. He's in here first, folks. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Pile of stones. Looks like a freaking pile of gold. It's a pile of small round stones. Scaffolding. It looks very unsafe. Hey, Robbie! Go climb the very unsafe scaffolding! I promise you'll be fine, yeah! There's no way I'm getting inside. The stairs inside the building aren't even half-built. It's been dumped here a long time ago. Are they never going to finish this building? Am I going to crush him to death with this bag? What the hell's even in this bag? When I first saw it, I thought maybe it was a gigantic slug. Somebody must have left those planks up there. It's a single plank of wood the builders left up there. Can I, like, knock down these planks and they hit the bag and then the bag hits the guy and... Yeah. Piled up pipes. You'd expect to see those on the building site. Fair enough. Right, crowbar and a stone. I better not. If I miss, he's gonna kill me. What if we just walk past him? What? Who's that? Get out of here, you thieving punks. This ain't a place for little shits like you. Run, Robbie, run! That's not run, it's a jog. Whew. I think he's gonna s gone to sleep again. Stupid old drunk. 
All right, let's try this. Is it, oh, is it gonna crush him? Oh. <laughs> How was that supposed to help? At least I'm trying to do something. And you're just standing there, useless, you useless waste of space. I'm actually thinking of a much better plan. Yeah? What is it? Well, I'm still thinking. I'll tell you when I've got it. You little shit, Robbie. I hate you. You're worthless. Did you see that? I knocked him out for good. Nice one, brother. Nice. Are, are you sure he's not... Well, you might have knocked him out for good because he might be dead. He's knocked out, alright. Okay. This is it. We found the place. Great. Can you tell me now what exactly is that thing we're looking for? Okay. That boy said it's a black briefcase. A briefcase full of money. Wow. But... Why would anyone hide it on the building site? It belongs to the Mafia, brother. Abandoned sites like this is a perfect collection place. They leave it here every first Monday of each month. Then, someone comes here and picks it up. Simple. Do you think that guard works for the Mafia too? It's possible. But if he is, I don't see a very bright future for him after we've stolen the briefcase. What will they do to him? I don't know. That's not our problem. Our problem now is to find it. And find it quickly. Right, well if a bunch of kids steal the Mafia's money, and the drunk guard could have stopped them, if he wasn't drunk, they're probably gonna murder him. So assuming we haven't already killed him or given him permanent brain damage, he's probably going to be shortly killed. Assuming we get the briefcase. The briefcase could be hidden under this block. It's too heavy to move it with my hands. Well, I do have the crowbar. Let's look around first. Oh. Actually, that's the only thing I can interact with. Crowbar it is. Can you see the briefcase? Hmm. There's something down there. I'm not sure if it's a briefcase, though. Hold on a second. It's not a briefcase. It's something else. I think... I know what it is. It's a landmine. A landmine? Yeah. Germans used to put them in the ground during the war, and some of them were never dug out or, or set off. That means that bastard lied to us. There never was any briefcase. I guess. They probably closed this building site down because they found mines. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. Is this... Is this landmine worth anything? Hard to say. Maybe. But we're not touching it. This thing is lethal. Do you reckon that Gary from the shop would give us a few quid for it? Don't even think about it. Let's just leave. There's nothing here for us. Oh god, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Robbie? Ah, I've not come here for nothing. I'm going to sell it. Gary's always looking for stuff like this. Dad, Robbie! What the fuck? Rob. Was that a dream? I hope that was a dream and it didn't actually happen. Robbie, I miss you so much. Oh shit, it happened! What? How is that possible? The crowbar I used to lift the block of concrete in my dream. I still got it. That actually happened. Robbie picked up a landmine. You idiot, Robbie. God damn it. You never pick up a landmine. That's like rule number one of life. <laughs> 